Okay, so we have Contract with Dawn Thousand. So when this card is activated, each player loses a thousand life points, and if they do, they draw one card. Each player reveals and keeps revealed the card that they drew by this card's effect, and all cards they draw while this card is face up on the field, while a player is revealing this field spoke uh wait, wait, I just scrambled it up. And keeps uh the look, each player draws one card, uh, and then each player reveals uh, the card that they drew by this card's effect, and if all cards they draw while this card is face one in the field. So, um, pretty much after this card is activated, you like if you draw another card, you have to reveal it. If you draw another card, you have to reveal it. So, if, if you maxi while this card's on the field, and you draw like three cards off of maxi, you have to reveal all those three cards and keep them revealed. So, you pretty much have to like play with your, like, your hand, um, like with like your cards backwards in your hand, so like so that your opponent can always see what's in your hand. Or maybe like you can, like set them out on the table and just be like, okay, this is my hand. Uh, so while a player is revealing a spell card by this card's effect, that player cannot normal summon or set monsters, and you can only activate one contract with Don Thousand per turn. This card, like this card, is just I, I, like I don't know how to feel about this card because when it's activated, it inflicts a thousand to both players. All right, so technically speaking, you can gain your opponent using this card. And uh, the thing is, is that you, we, uh, if a player can't lose a thousand life points, then uh, nobody draws, right? So it says, and if you do, but you know, what card stops you from losing life points? Because there are cards that stop damage, but I don't think there's any card out there that says neither player can lose life points. Like <laughs> uh, maybe that like Infinity Zero card, but that's like an anime only thing. So. Each player reveals every card they draw from that point on. And uh, if, if this card doesn't get, if you don't get rid of this card automatically, this can end up being a problem. Now, I understand that uh, hindering a normal summon doesn't really have too much of an impact on this game to meta these days because there are a lot of decks that don't need their normal summon. They, they just go off without a normal summon. And uh, although that is understandable, like call me old school, but like normal summons are important. Like, a lot of decks really rely on just being able to normal summon that level 4 lower monster to really get their plays going. Now, not every deck will uh, really get hindered from this. Like, something like Blue Eyes, where you only really care about normal summoning like Sage. Um, after that, you don't really care about your normal summon. Like, most like most turns, you won't use your normal summon at all. You're just going to be using Alternative and like uh silver's cry and azure eyes like you're not gonna be worried about your normal summon so in a deck like blue eyes this, this can actually do some real damage and uh but the thing is is that your opponent will have to be revealing a spell card for them not to have their uh their gnome sum limited the second thing about this card is that you can have more than one of these cards face up right now although that's not a big deal because you know you can only stop nor it only stops a normal summon so stacking it won't matter but um when it's activated, each player loses a thousand, right? So you activate one, both players lose a thousand. You activate two, both players lose two thousand, or have lost two thousand due to both these cards. So it's it's kind of like a burn card as well. So this in chain burn can actually do quite a bit of damage, because if they play three of these, then they just activate it. Okay, we both lose a thousand. It's like <laughs> it's just so free, and the fact is, you can you can activate one one per turn. So, like, both players lose a thousand, both players lose a thousand, both players lose a thousand. And then if, if your opponent ends up re revealing a spell card while you're playing Chain Burn, that's only going to help you because they can't normal summon, they've taken damage, and uh, it's, it's just, you can just keep going uh, for your turn because they can't normal summon. Uh, and then with uh, the fact that you uh, can only activate one per turn, meaning you can activate three per duel. Like, I think this card, like, I would have been okay with this card if it said you can only activate one contract with down 1,000 per duel. Now, I, I don't think this card is the most broken thing ever, but um, it's, it, it just does really, um, like, the part that each player loses 1,000 life points is the thing that really gets me um, with this card. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, I, I guess that's it for this video. We were at 22 minutes. I don't think I've made a video this long in like years, like literally, <laughs> literally years. So, um, I'm just going to cut it off here. I'm going to do a part two to this video. I, I'm actually going to do three parts because I'm going to have to do the, um, the, the reprints and the erratas from Duel of Saga. So this is going to be a real big set to, <laughs> to really talk about. So, uh, expect more videos like this coming up in, uh, the near future. But this was Nistro here. Nistro out. Uh, expect part two coming soon.